the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 18th day of November, being Friday, and we start to treat another time of the church calendar year, she. And today, the Mother Church celebrates the dedication of St. Peter and Paul Basilica in Rome. I read this will be coming from the book of Revelation, chapter 10, verse 8 to 11. A response to the psalm comes from Psalm 119, verse 103a. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel, chapter 19, verse 45 to 48. The theme of our message is, all the people hung upon his word. All the people hung upon his word. Words. And that's why today the book of Revelation revealed to us. The voice of God came to him and said, Go and take that scroll and eat. So from the angel and eat. And he went and told the angel and gave him the little scroll and said, If you eat it, it will be bitter to your stomach or sweet to your mouth like honey. He said he took this scroll and ate it. It was sweet on his mouth, on the, on the mouth, but bitter in his stomach. His stomach turned bitter. And the voice came to him, you must now go and prophesy. Go and prophesy. See, this is, so the word you have received is the word to be shared with others. You must again prophesy about many peoples and nations and towns and kings. The word you have accepted and taken now into yourself. You have assimilated this word. You have taken the word, you have chewed it, and you have assimilated it. The word is now in you. Is this word you go and prophesy now about many peoples, about nations and tongues and kings? The word. The word of God. Sweeten the lips, in the mouth. Or when it enters your stomach, be there because it, it brings revolution to your entire body. It transforms you, the word that transforms. The word that informs you, the word that transforms you and sets you apart for a mission of God. So when you take it and eat it, you become a new creation. You can see 2 Corinthians 5, 7, once in Christ. And the word is Christ. The word too fresh. And remember among us, and it's Christ. That Christ say, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No person can go to the Father except through me. You can see if John 14, 6. And now why today you can see this being fulfilled. And now why today, when Jesus went to the temple, feed with the, the word now went to the temple. And saw so the temple of God turned into a place of selling. And he drove them out. Say, it's written, my father's house should be a house of prayer. You have turned it, it into a den of robbers. Yes. This temple is supposed to be a, pray, a praying point meeting of God. You have turned it into a den of robbers. Yes, that will happen to any one of us. When you have rejected the word of God, your body, which is the temple of God, that's supposed to be a prayer of communion with God. You reject God and allow the demons to possess it. It becomes a den of robbers and bandits, or corrupt and criminal minded politicians. You become a bot for them, you become a gent of them. You serve their cause of evil things. He said that will happen. And Jesus will come and drive this out if you allow him to enter you. If you allow this word to enter you, they will automatically will drive out all these demons out of you. God, the word is God himself. It's the spirit of God. It's the light of the world. It's the truth of life. 
and the Spirit of God. And now why when Jesus did this, I told the Pharisees, the scribes, and the principal people they wanted to destroy him. But they have nothing to hold upon because all the people hung on his words. They depend on his words to live. They put hunger upon his word. To take away the word is to take away their lives. So they all the put hunger on the work. So any person who challenge what in their life is looted, they will fight. They will fight back. So the people were afraid of them because all the people hung on his words. Just like Nigeria have all his hope in uh, Peter B now. All the hope of Nigerians is only, thing, is only Peter B. If people are not, their only hope is Peter B. The people in the way, their only hope is Peter B. The other people in the south and south south, their hope is only Peter B. We have no other hope. The hope of Africa is only of Peter B. If a good man can not save us, evil men cannot save us. They will rather destroy us. That was the psalmist who understood this promise today, this said to God. Talk about God's sin. How sweet is your promise to my tongue, O Lord? How sweet is your promise to my tongue, O God? Yes, the promise of the word of God is sweet on our tongues. Who will know? It is the promise of God that gives us hope. It is the promise of God that will overcome the world. It is on the promise of God that we are not despairing. And since our hope is there, the hope will never disappoint us. Now why they were celebrating the dedication of St. Peter and Paul. These are great apostles of the church. And two basilicas were built on their tombs in Rome. And the day of the dedication reminds us of the great apostles, Peter and Paul. They construed the four major Basilicans in Rome, St. Major, St. Mary Major, and St. John Lateran Basilican. And the four major Basilicans in Rome. So we celebrate the, these temples of God, and we were temples of God. I haven't taken the word, and the word is in us, we become temple of God. We go to witness for God, we go to prophesy for God. May God help us understand this message today and then leave it out. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate a privilege of Lily hanging on the word, word of God. And of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Yeah, 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 yeah